UConn with three of their last three shots, counting for points, eking out a three-point advantage over Seton Hall in this third quarter. Well, and they haven't gotten the ball into the lane too much. Watch here. Watch Nelson Adota over there. I'd like her to come in there with a little bit of a bigger presence, but the nice find by Paige Beckers. And there you see Nelson Adota sets up this, uh, a screen and then passes it right back to her. Foul line jumper. That's a much better shot than the 15-16 footer just standing around in the beginning of the offense. And suddenly, Olivia nelson Adota is the leading scorer in the ballgame. Six of eight from the floor, 13 points, five rebounds. And something that we haven't talked about enough is the outstanding passer that she has turned into. She had seven assists yeah. Friday night at Marquette. Yeah, good decisions with the ball. Gino was uh, praising that in the last couple of games for nelson Adota. nelson Adota, Beckers, Griffin, Westbrook, and Mule on the floor for the Huskies. Griffin draws contact from Espinosa Hunter. Terrific move there by Griffin, but, but what also helped is when Nelson Adota passed her the ball, she dove through the lane. See right here, cut down the middle of the lane. Don't just stand there. It makes it too easy on the defense if you stand there and don't move. So Aubrey Griffin, who a period of this season where I guess it's fair to say she started very slowly in this season has been in double figures scoring five of the last eight games and has been a real presence except obviously the two that she missed injured yeah she just she brings an energy off the bench and, and I remember last year she had a spectacular game against Seton Hall she played well down there in December and she's doing what her team needs her to do here tonight to change the game here's Elmore on Nelson Adota Nice step away, but the shot off the rim. Five-point UConn lead. Beckers, yes, for three. <laughs> you heard Jamel Elliott scream one time. <laughs> yeah, loud and clear. So the Husky lead grows as Beckers now up to... 11 points in this one. There's Park Lane way off the mark. Straight out of bounds. Taps yourself on the chest. Says, my bad. And a Seton Hall turnover. A breakdown defensively, which we haven't seen a lot for Seton Hall, but a nice screen from Griffin. Paige Becker's wide open to knock down that three. Her first of the game. First from outside. 5 of 12 from the floor overall for Becker's. Mule. Westbrook draws a double team. What a move between players. Smart step through by Westbrook. What a savvy move by the guard. Ten point Husky lead. Here's Jackson. Four three. Yeah, make that seven. Maya Jackson having a solid night for Seton Hall. That makes her their leading scorer in the ball game. Nelson Adota from the free throw line. No. See, that's the shot that I don't think is the most effective shot for their offense and for Nelson Adota. Espinosa Hunter to Jackson, unguarded. Nika Mule tries to get the rebound. Griffin ends up with it. Becker splits players and one. Smart, aggressive take by the freshman to the hoop. Drawn the foul. I mean, it's just really good court vision and awareness. Just split the defenders. Nobody was stopping the ball. See, she knew it. She's like, you know what? No one's stopping me. I'm just taking it in. Beckers can't add the extra. So it'll be a nine-point lead for UConn. Huskies making six of their last seven shots. Denbury to Espinosa Hunter for three. Breakdown defensively by UConn. You cannot leave Espinosa Hunter open. See what happens on this last shot. Three quarters in a row for UConn. Let's see if they can execute. Beckers backs out. Off the Nelson Adota screen. Got in trouble. Got it back. Shot short. And Griffin can't save it. As time expires in the quarter number three. Now, Amina Westbrook, after struggling to put the ball in the basket in the last couple of games, Three of four from the floor tonight, determined to get to the rim on that one.
Though we are many, we are part of something.